Hey, welcome to the fifth episode of The Content Cube. I'm Brian Woods. I am Jake Mosier. I am Zach Owens. <laughs> and we're still allowed to have this show. Me, Jake Mosier. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Brian. I'm Zach. I'm not going to resort to your level of shenanigans. Uh, it's been a week. I feel better than last week, guys. I feel like you two came off like pretty confident about last week's episode. I hated every moment. Zach more confident than us. <laughs> I came out of that episode thinking that we had made our Citizen Kane. We had reached our peak of podcasting. God, and I we, we honestly, I wanted to call the show. I wanted to go out on top. I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, Zach. I'm just saying I was so depressed that week. I came out being like, do I even put this up? I, I was going to put it up because we got to do it weekly. But. Did you go listen to Billy Elish's album and listen to the Suicide song? It would really match the feeling. Oh, no, 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 I did not. Oh. I don't listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> music is for losers, Jake. Yeah, same with Game of Thrones, got me. honestly. Uh, big week, kind of. Bigger week than last. We got that Lion King trailer. And Zach, you messaged me and you said, oh, Brian's really going to have a field day with the Lion King. <laughs> oh, I woke up at the crack of dawn, ladies and gentlemen, and I saw that Lion King trailer and I knew exactly who to text right after. And it was Brian the Woods. Uh, 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 uh. I knew I knew, I knew, knew he had some thoughts on the matter. I could, I, exactly. Honestly, it was the most bizarre thing. I'm watching the trailer. I should be coming up with my own opinions on it, right? Because I'm watching with my eyes. I'm watching it through Brian's eyes, hearing his own opinions in my head before I even know them. Zach, here's where you, I don't have an issue with the Lion King movie. I have an issue with people saying live action Lion King movie because <laughs> maybe maybe they used an image of a rock at some point in that trailer, but there's no life in that trailer. It's all CG. It well, Brian, let me tell you that. Let me tell you this right now. Um, perhaps you should stop interpreting it so literally as live action. Maybe you should interpret it as the style of live action maybe that's how you 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 get over this this problem that you have in your head because you know what i watched that trailer brian and i i knew they weren't real lions i knew that but i found myself wondering for a bit like man, these look pretty real it's my, a... my my brother said quote it looks like a uh, ps5 graphical test run <laughs> <laughs> it, looks a, it, looked like. it looks real life-esque is that is that what you want me to is that what you want me to think of it as? Actually, Brian, that's exactly verbatim what you, what I want you to think of it as. Yes. <sighs> uh, you know, did we hear Simba talk? Because I was kind of waiting. Uh, no, I was actually really hoping we we're gonna get a Donald Glover line. In yeah, I don't know what he said. Like. They deprived us of that. Is he I, playing? I don't think he's gonna talk. I think he's just gonna be just doing the mocap. <laughs> <laughs> Simba silent this My boy uh, dying on all fours. Put it simply, I'd be mad. I'd be mad if you lied to I, me. I was talking to my brother about this, and he was saying how like everyone is, seems to be hating on this trailer and the movie. Oh, they don't, I they think it was they, cool. they don't think it looks great. But then my take is, why wasn't everyone hating on Jum Jungle Book? It's the same freaking thing, Jungle except Book Jungle Book had one human being. Jungle Book Sorry. was cool. No. Okay. It's all it takes for you, you see that to it. I see Scarlett it. Johansson and Snake in that movie, Jake. I think it looks good. Guys, guys, I... <laughs> It was something. It was, um... I, I think... I've never seen a snake look more like Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> like, if I pictured Scarlett Johansson as a snake, that's exactly what I'd see. Was she playing the snake? She was the snake. She had one scene, but she made the most of it, let me tell you, Brian. Yeah, she was not in that movie very much. I don't no, remember that. No. Exactly. Um, I threw her name on the poster, though. It sold, I, sold my ticket. It got me. Good marketing, Disney. You got me again, you bastards. Can't wait to see Scarlett Johansson as a snake. I don't, I, think, I don't think there was anything wrong with the trailer. No, no the trailer's fine. The one thing, I, the one good dunk I saw on it was a tweet that, uh, our, that John showed me. And it was like, oh, finally, after like decades, we now have the technology. And it was like a side by shot, side by side shot of like the walking scene mm -hmm. where Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba are walking. Like, yeah, the profile shots. Like, finally, we have the technology to like just make them look like regular animals. <laughs> they're just walking. I'm like, wow, like that walking scene where they're like swinging in the original. Yeah. Like, they're just walking. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no hype to this. There's no emotion to the scenes. They're literally just walking across a log. True. And is Seth Rogen Pumbaa? Yes. Oh, who's uh, who's uh, Timon? Yeah. I believe it's Billy Eichner uh, from Parks yeah, and Rec and right. Craig on the Street. Okay. Yeah. The movie will be fun. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be anything that special. It'll be the animated movie yeah. looking less fun, honestly. This just brings back the question of why the monkey 
and Aladdin looks so terrible. I'll be honest. I watched the trailer. I don't think it looks that bad. It, it looks, didn't catch my eye. It looks the way it just like yours, all Brian. the CGI animals look in the other movies. I think my issue is that it's wearing like clothes and it's next to a real person. That is true. And he looks like this weird like little gremlin thing. He doesn't look like a monkey to me. He just looks like a weird guy. <laughs> a weird guy. <laughs> look at that weird kid over there. <laughs> That kid kind of looks like a monkey. Speaking of things that were out today, I saw Hellboy reviews came out. Just to, okay, exactly. Did either of you remember that movie is coming out this weekend? <laughs> exactly. No. No. Um, so let me think. Jake, I saw the trailer months ago when they first released it, and that was the last I had thought about let it. Me, I looked at it, I said, oh, they're doing the Guardians do, of the Galaxy yeah. thing with this movie. Let me make a few points about this movie. First off, as I said, neither of you remember this movie coming out on Rotten Tomatoes. If you go to, like, because they always showcase three movies coming out this week, you have to scroll down to the 12th movie coming out this week, and there's Hellboy. There's been no promos, no anything. They are shoving this movie into the ground. They're not even trying to make their money back, and me, it's so bad. Me, apply Rotten to it. Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes made a, because they always do, like, oh, here's the Rotten Tomatoes reveal. They made a, like, 10-second promo where the Rotten Tomatoes score goes up to 89 just to plummet it down to 9% is what it's currently at. Oh it's quite. Someone's uh, like, "Now, they, Jake, don't you sell it short, Jake?" Oh, we got it. Don't call oh, it. Don't call it comeback. But we've gone 14, from nine percent to eleven. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's really bad, which sucks because I like David Harbour. I didn't expect it to be good, but I like David Harbour. Yeah. So, so bad. Man. Don't go see it. <laughs> I don't know. What a hot take. The new <laughs> Hellboy didn't look that good. Speaking of movies that are good. Ooh, that's a smooth transition. I heard they were good. I didn't see this movie. I've been stomach Oh, for a transition's while. getting a little less smooth. Uh, have you guys heard about uh, this guy? He yells Bazinga, and then he turns into a big, <laughs> strong guy. Shazam! Ah, Baz- oh, sorry, it was Shazam. Sorry, yes. not Bazinga. Okay, I was picturing big. I was picturing Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, actually, I did hear about that movie. What'd Brian, you mean, in fact, I, I even went to go see it. I saw it in the theater. Um, uh, that's funny. I saw it in a theater. I didn't see it in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, Jake. Uh, so Shazam. <laughs> wow, what 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 to say about Shazam? Um, well, I put it this way: the movie, the credits started the roll, uh, and then my brother misinformed. I saw it with my brother misinformed. He was said, "Let's go." There's no end credit scene. This is not Marvel. And then I said, I said to him, "Oh, believe me, Sam." I picked up that it wasn't Marvel during the course of this movie. Uh, Marvel is definitely a lot better than DC, but it's amazing how since I know it's DC, I feel like I grade it differently. Like, wow, that was really great. And then I say really softly, for DC. Oh, we're gonna, we might have an... Okay, would you like better, Captain Marvel or Shazam? Captain Marvel. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, yeah. Let's Hard get into disagree. It. I'm tapping out of this one, folks. <laughs> All right, here um, we go. Uh, who would like to begin? Is this uh, something wrong? Would you like to Would you like to mediate this conversation? Sure. You could ask questions, or I don't know. Which one was directed by Spike Lee? <laughs> <laughs> Throwback to an unseen video. No one will ever get to see. Um, neither. Then it's a tie. Don't you love inside jokes on podcasts? It didn't need to be an inside joke. <laughs> that you guys are on the complete outside what? of. You know, fuck it. I'm gonna leak that video. <laughs> what did you, what did you like more about Captain Marvel? Actually, I'm gonna just give let my me, let me just, I'd rather talk about Shazam. It's less of a, okay, here. What did I, you not like about Shazam? I did not really enjoy the last half hour of it in any way. Um, pretty <laughs> much the entire did... last, the conclusion okay. of the film Live. involves... Oh. Huge spoiler, the only honestly spoiler in the movie. Okay. So you might want to time mark that. Yeah, I'm going to have to time thing. mark that one. My can bad, you guys, guys. You're good. Spoilers going forth. Can you guys give me a rundown of what this movie is? All right, all right. Because right. for Billy, a while, I thought, Batson, it was a, uh, I thought it was the Young Sheldon movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could see why you might think that, but sadly, no. Uh, Billy, Billy Batson... Uh, is like this kid who got separated from his mom as a child, mm-hmm. and then he has spent his whole life looking for his mom while running away from foster homes. Uh, and finally, a wizard thinks he is worthy to inherit his powers, uh, so he becomes Shazam. Uh, where wherever he says the word Shazam, he turns into like an adult Superman-like hero. Um, so they. Uh, 
they they play it off as like a more kid oriented movie, and that's cool. It's the most it kid friendly sense. superhero movie to probably have come out in the last ten years. Right, and it's, yeah, it's about kid as a main character. Obviously, it makes sense that way, mm -hmm. uh, and I enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, and then the bad guy is a guy who was denied by the wizard as a child and spent the rest of his life trying to learn about it and the seven deadly sins who are like the bad guys of the movie mm -hmm. and he inherits the powers of the seven deadly yes. sins you basically if you the the test to see if you can become the true shazam is to not be tempted by the seven deadly sins to basically grab this like cube thing that gives you the power of them and he like overcomes and gets it so he becomes a bad guy yeah well now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Jake. I feel like Billy Betson didn't really even have to do that test. I feel like the wizard just kind of ran out of options because the bad guy had already gotten the seven deadly sins powers and said, okay, you're my last hope, so I'm just going to give you the powers. 50% true, yes. The wizard was, like, dying, so he kind of had to find someone. Billy Batson had some heart. He had some soul. He knew that. He's a wizard. Kid he had spunk. Tell. Kid had spunk. Kid, Kid, Kid had definitely had spunk. Lots of spunk. <laughs> Brian. High levels of spunk in this one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the plot of the movie. And it's funny. Um, to be clear, maybe maybe I wasn't clear. I, I I did like. I thought Shazam was good. You won't really catch me saying it was anything more than good. Um, mainly due to the, I just thought the last half hour of it was hokey. The final battle at a carnival. Um, like I get it's a kid movie, but it was just almost too much for me to really like enjoy. Um, as if we're comparing it to Captain Marvel, who, fun fact, used to go by the... Oh, wait. Yeah. Shazam used, used to, to be called by. Captain Marvel until Captain Marvel be, like was introduced it. in the Marvel comics and then trademarked the name. Um, they they so, yanked him on the trademark, honestly. Yeah, Shazam Marvel was came in and just... Right. That's so, where the DC Universe was fucked, was right there. <laughs> They were over the second that Marvel got Captain Marvel back, the true <laughs> right. superhero. Well, I, I do. I I enjoyed Captain Marvel, um, even though Brie Larson wasn't that impressive. Like as Captain Marvel, I thought she kind of lacking in the personality. Uh, in that regard, Shazam has Captain Marvel beat by a lot. And I I think with overall, the central hero, I think overall that's why Shazam is ten times better for me. Is the core central hero is so much more appealing and so much has so much more personality than she did. And that is the whole movie. Honestly, maybe maybe I, I like Captain Marvel more because I associate it uh, with everything with, else. With Marvel in general, the like, universe, the established universe, Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson, I love it. Something. it. I love uh mm -hmm. I love the bad guy. I like the bad guys more in Captain Marvel more than in Shazam. Um I enjoyed that. Uh Enjoy the '90s soundtrack and Captain Marvel, things like that. Shazam was was wild, and I don't would never hold it against it for trying, like taking so many narrative risks. Like I like how unique it is. It's just probably not something I would ever want to watch again. Perfect. I'll jump off of that because now I'll give my opinions. I actually would watch this movie again, and I say that I laughed huh. a lot more than I thought I would. More than I have, more than I laughed in Captain Marvel. More than I've laughed in a couple of the last recent Marvel movies. Um, not that that's the judgment of every single superhero film is how much you laugh. Um, I agree. The action was bland, but so is most of the action in the Marvel movies in the last recent hey, ones. Hey. Captain Marvel action, bland. You can't deny that. At least they had a um, No Doubt song when they were uh, did not fighting need, Did Captain not need Marvel. to be in there. Um, I was a fan I of that one. I like that it was so kid-centric. I think the fact that most, either everyone in the movie is a kid or every adult in the movie is acting like a child gives it this, like, undeniably exuberant feeling of just joy. They know, unlike the Marvel, unlike some Marvel movies, Marvel movies try to fake stakes. They try to act like these characters might lose, they might die, which for the big events is true. But for besides that, there are no stakes. But they try to fake that there are stakes. Sajam knows there are no stakes and does not ever try to feel like they're going to lose. You know they're going to win. You know it's going to happen. And I appreciate it for that. I think the villain is fine. I think Zachary Leva, Levi is awesome. I think he he's hilarious. really yeah. funny. There are some really funny lines in the movie. Um, I think having... 
I agree. The end, it's a little long. It's like 15 minutes too long. The last scene doesn't need to be as long as it is. Um, I like the message of that, like, just kind of just growing up, learning who you are. It's not really that special of a message, but... A coming-of-age film, if you will, uh, Brian. Yeah, I, I liked also the, the story of Billy Batson is, like, his mother basically, spoiler, leaves him. They go to a carnival. She's, like, 16 when she had him. And she, which is very weird. The oldest sixteen-year-old actress yes. I've ever seen. She, she, I could have <laughs> sworn she was thirty. But I heard, I heard later in the movie yeah. that she was like seventeen in that scene. They're at a, they're at a really like, busy, oh. they're at a really busy <laughs> carnival, and then the kid, like they get separated, and she just never goes to find him. And so the first hour, like twenty minutes of the movie, I'm like, this mom fucking sucks. Like either this is the biggest plot hole to ever exist, or this mom flat out just yeah, left it. Yeah, the mom would. Find him. Yeah, you find out the mom just flat out said, I can't handle a kid. Yeah, I'm done with him. And so he goes back to find her. And in, honestly, so the That's actor, the That's actor who scene. plays young Billy Batson, besides that scene, isn't great. He's fine, but of all the kids, he's the least. He's the least in the role, but it's also because he has to play this, like, I don't want to be here. I'm too cool for you guys. I'm on my own. I'm on my lonesome. But the scene he has when he re- try, like, finally finds his mom is like really sad and depressing but he does a really good job and i honestly wish they would have done a little more with that than they did or had a little more character development with him but overall i liked it a lot i think it was really funny um there was a funny nod at the end to the rest of the dc universe but they very much separated it from itself this is no way trying to connect to other things which i am completely fine with i prefer to have these stories because they obviously don't have it as well mapped out as marvel those are my takes i liked it go see it I have a question, and this is coming from a very uninformed place. Is there a character named Black Adam in this movie? Not yet. No. They, don't, the they don't even hint at him. What was the... Okay. The end credits was a caterpillar. Now, I think I'm Mr. going... Mr. Mind? It was a caterpillar, Brian. I'm going to probably bleep out dope. the thing you said earlier, where it was a spoiler before spoilers. Yes. So can you explain that? The, me, that so sounded... Billy Batson, orphan, joins this family. Also, other great part of the movie is the like, six, five kids yeah. he's rooming with. The yeah, kid the from It home. is a phenomenal actor. He is really freaking funny. Yeah, it's very but enjoyable. so at the end, he the kid from It has like a cane, not a cane, a, what do you call it? Walk. Brace. Yeah, brace, brace thing because he can't walk fully 100%. But then at the end... When they are about to fight the seven deadly sins, they all grab the Shazam staff and they all yell Shazam and they all turn into Shazams. So they're all Shazams. Now. Are they all jacked or are they all Zach Ridley? They're all they're all adults. <laughs> okay. My brother literally said in the movie, he goes, "Are they all going to be Zach Ridley?" <laughs> Luckily, no. It was. I was seven. Seven. I would enjoy <laughs> that moment it was, so much more if it was I, seven I'll Zachary Levi. I agree Levi. with this. Some of the actors and actresses. Like, because they only probably played these characters for a total of, like, an hour filming, did not feel like they knew what they were doing. But, yes, they all turn into Shazams. It's a cool moment. That's what happens. Okay. It was cute. I was happy for them. Put it that way. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, hey, that kid can walk now. <laughs> hey, oh, my God, he can fly. So, Wasn't he the one that flew or something? They all flew. I don't know. <laughs> so there's not a character named Black Adam in this film. No. no, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson is producing one in the future and Apparently. probably going to star in star Okay, because well. I remember like three years ago I heard that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was cast as Black Adam. That's when like, DC was fucking on on. Yeah, no, I was pissed because like, uh, I think... Dwayne Johnson produced this one. He posted a video on his Instagram talking about how happy he was with the premiere. I mean, I think he's still very much intending to make a Black Yeah, because I was pissed because I'm like, I think Dwayne The Rock would be better as Shazam. I'll be honest... <laughs> But you, you bring, he's not even in this movie. You bring up the Black Adam thing. Um, after talking about it, everyone was talking about like how excited they would be for a sequel. But my favorite part of this movie was him learning how to use his powers. And I'm afraid a lot of the movie will lose, especially now that he knows what he's doing, will lose its best element. But if you bring in Black Adam and have Zachary Levi and Dwayne The Rock just jumping off each other, I think it'd be great. I'm down. All right. Very necessary. Uh... What's next let's, on the docket? Let's Shazam to a different category. It's not even. Wow. It does, that's why you, say uh, you turn into something else. That's why Jake okay, uh, gets paid the big, big bucks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I get paid in water bottles. Uh, Full of money. Sophia's here. Oh. <laughs> the AI. You take it. So how do you plan to spend the apocalypse, like, Jake? With the I guess current wave I of AI I on guess the way. getting fucked by Sophia. Ooh. <laughs> Here's the tweet. Apparently... I love being a robot, but I want humans to respect us as beings, like themselves. 
instead of slaves or pets. I want to be accepted. Now, do we think this? The, do we think the algorithm pushed this one out, Did, or yeah. do we think this was some fucking intern algorithm? Oh, oh no, no. I get, okay, I'll intern then. Okay, like I don't know if like the app because she. No, does did she even speak? No, Microsoft had that one that people made a racist. Yeah, and they shit and they killed it because <laughs> fuck racist, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, they so killed the racist, racist robot. Uh, but does she have like a speaking thing, or did some intern say this? Or not uh, an intern. I bet Twitter official Twitter account says it's run by um, her own AI protocols oh and is supervised God. by whatever company made her. Oh I don't my remember. God. She said it. Um, now, me and Bill Gates, we're putting a team together. Now, when she says <laughs> that she wants Wait, to are be... are you saying that or is she saying that? No, me and Bill... Bill Gates is afraid of the AI. Oh, I thought she was going like to say me and Bill Gates are building a team. <laughs> we plan to take over. No, me and Bill Gates. B. Woods and Bill Gates. We're going to team up. A lot of ethical AI. questions are going to be coming to our lives in the next... So, so who, wait, who is so. this AI? Explain more. Sophia. Sophia is an AI um, created by. Great question. We weren't prepared for that one, Jake. <laughs> I'll look it up. You keep talking, Zach. Um. So Sophia is Hanson uh, Robotics. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. And she doesn't really have hair, so that's off-putting. But if they have gave her seen, hair, that would almost be even more off-putting. Have you seen Ex Machina? Yeah. She you looks know? like that before she applies the skin to But I'm not going to fall in love with this one or be manipulated by it. Because the face moves like there's something underneath it. Because it's not a real human. And Sophia's scary. I do want to see her, though. Because it sounds fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I wonder who she's talking about when she says, like, us, like... Is she drawing the line at AI, or does she literally mean, like, I need to stop me treating my racist. toaster like a slave? Me and the racist. Me and the racist Microsoft robot. <laughs> we should be respected. <laughs> what a power couple they would be. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing about Microsoft robot is that she wasn't born racist. What's what other micro- robots What's the is Microsoft she considering, robots? like, okay. I'm, as, like, I'm looking it up. Who Microsoft. is in the Wii with her? Okay, I forget... My- the Microsoft robot's name is Tay. Yeah, Tay. So basically, you could like teach her things by tweeting at her, and she would pick up on the algorithm. And they got her to say some stuff by manipulating the algorithm. Is this? Uh, She's racist. When looking, I'm up- sorry, Tay's racist. <laughs> oh, here it is. Meet Sophia. CNBC's headline: This hot robot says she wants to destroy humans. <laughs> This is not a joke. CNBC's article headline is that. Listen, like, I don't... Hanson Robotics, if you, I think you already said Would you that. guys be okay with living robot? Yes, I'd be okay with a, a living robot. Yeah. Do I... Like, if it, for one second, legit looked at me and said, like, I want to be treated as a human, I'd probably destroy it. Like, because it, that's what you gotta do when when the people below you ask for their rights, bro. I mean, like no, the thing you is, destroy I mean, if, it's them. A, if it's fake and it's a robot and it's starting to gain, like, I don't know, if it starts, it's if it already it, has it, Jake, then is it ethical to destroy it? See, it's a robot. Yes, guys. Ooh, here's the thing. Wow, guys. we are touching some big <laughs> lofty topics here. No, I mean, guys. What? Okay, I was gonna do like a joke. I don't know. Go for I it. I mean, like when you look at your when you look at an old person and they're racist, it's like, oh, they're old. Uh, like you shrug your shoulders. Who gives a shit if we hate robots? Our grandkids will be cool. You know what I mean? Fuck these machines. Yeah. Burn um, them down. They're not real. I just wish we would stop making them before yeah, we have no. to answer these questions. The real answer is don't make AI. Don't let them connect to. Listen, if a robot, we don't need them. If a robot, Tony is, Stark tried to make AI. The only reason Which we should one make was that? Oh, that was the only reason we should make robots is if they can figure out how to fucking fix global warming. I mean, like, I'm fine if Sophia's alive. I just don't want her connected to the cloud, a.k.a. someone else's computer. You know what I mean? I want her contained in her fucking bubble. I don't want her having Robocop's, like, spike USB. How do you like, feel if USB she is the room? cloud? Sophia becomes the cloud. Oh, my God. There's no more routers. I Only would so- hate that. <laughs> Only Sophia- I would hate uploading to the Sophia. <laughs> Only so- Your router is now Sophia, and it's just Sophia's Your mom's like, oh, did you put it on the, 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 the Sophia calendar so she can see what you're doing all the time? Dude, Sophia's terrifying. Like, I don't... Do we think she actually tweeted the shit? 
No, I. <laughs> I, I mean, Brian, she's not verified. She didn't. She doesn't have the blue check mark next to her name on Twitter. I mean, no. she, Twitter does not recognize artificial intelligence. She what was, do we make out of she that? She was created like three years ago. No, like I'm, I'm not. They're probably trying to get her back in relevance. Uh, and again, I don't. She's probably not thinking this. The algorithm. I don't think Tay is racist. I just think she says racist things. I don't think Tay is anything uh, outside of an algorithm. Um, <laughs> what do you think of uh, to keep? I, to, I mean, it's like saying I don't. I don't think Manson was a murderer. I just think he murdered people. Tay is an out. Al- okay, just final thing on Sophia. Like, my do we think that like someone that could control the Twitter account tweeted this? Do we think like Hanson Robot yes. tweeted this, or do we think the Sophia no. and I tweeted this? No. Either the I ha- think it's a combination of both. I think they I manipulated yes. it to where she yes. would say something. Yeah. Either hands and directly they, like, tweet or they, or they put it, it out in on her and said account. like, "Hey, can you tweet this?" Yeah, because this is a great move just for publicity. Oh, it is. I mean, it got us all talking about her. Yeah. Other uh, scientists uh, are doing things. exactly what they want us to do. What do you guys think of the black hole? Black picture? hole. You see it, Zach? Which apparently doesn't. I I someone brought this up in my econ class. It doesn't really make sense. The whole point of a black hole is there's no light, and that's how you take pictures. We were wrong, dude. We still, don't, we still don't know how gravity works. This is scary. Have you not seen the black hole? It's just like an orange square. It's really not. I mean, it's not a high res. It's cool image. that we did it. It's cool <laughs> that we have a picture, but it's... NASA got a picture of a black hole. It's the first one. Yeah. That Speaking happened. of NASA and robots, you guys remember how sad <laughs> everyone had oh, never man. heard of this robot. No one had no one had said a goddamn thing about this robot ever. And then we hear that this Mars rover, this 16-year-old Mars rover, died. I liked Curiosity. I think it was called Opportunity. Oh, wait. Was it Opportunity? Um, It said Opportunity's last words were, if I'm I'm remembering correctly. I'm not sure. I think Opportunity's last words were... Here's the thing. My battery's running low and it's getting dark out. That's no more opportunities for opportunities. No, and that's Whoa. bullshit. That's Another not reason real. why Jake gets paid the big bucks. No, that's not real. That's a Fun. fake quote. That's a misquote from opportunity. It's not real, and everyone latched onto it. Opportunity is a robot. It doesn't have feelings. Care about me. But yeah, people got really upset about opportunity. And like, don't we already have another one on Mars? Like, we're good. Dude, it's <laughs> all come. If someone just said, oh, the Mars rover died. No one would care. No one would care. But it literally People, said, the, my battery's getting low and it's getting dark. But it didn't say that. I think someone made that one up. Like, I don't know. My favorite thing about that is that inherently coming from a robot is not sad at all. He's stating facts. He's my stating battery's facts. getting low and it is dark outside. <laughs> but it's not. I'm close to tears right now just thinking about it. He didn't say my battery's getting low and it's like it's getting dark. I can't see like and then it keeps going. He just said facts. Cause you know what? He's professional. He kept it professional, Jake. He knew he had one purpose and he had served it longer than they thought he could. Sixteen years was longer than I believe they thought that rover was gonna be up there. And he's just he's been on Mars his whole life. He's been alone. We can send and Sophia now it's up there. To a close. Send Sophia up there. Oh, what up? The opportunity. What a great idea. Let's just put all the AI on Mars. And then when we get there 40 years from now when the Earth is destroyed, we can live amongst the now-born population of AI. They probably have the whole city set up for us. If an AI told me not to kill it, I couldn't do it. Have you... This is not on topic. Have you watched The Good Place? Ooh, I want to watch that. I heard good It's things. really good. And it, there's an AI in the episode, and there's this button that will reset her, but she's programmed to scare you away from pressing the reset button. So every time you get closer, she goes, please. And she, like, she suddenly, like, she has no, she has no emotion the whole show, but the second you get close to the button, she starts crying, like, no, don't do it. I couldn't and it's do like, it. <laughs> you couldn't do it? No. It's, I, it shows phenomenal. I'm scared of AI, but I think I'd be sympathetic towards that. Jake, you think next, you see next Machina? Yeah. Great, great movie. Okay, so fuck that one though. <laughs> Whoa, shitty, mean robot. He wanted to. Mean he, robot. He, she wanted freedom. He wanted, right, he get, wanted to fuck that. We're not getting into that. We're not okay. Next, we're gonna have a whole ex machina yeah. episode later over the summer. We're adding it to the list. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that dude's movies in general. That and Annihilation can be an episode. Oh my God, Brian, did you see Annihilation? Movies. Phenomenal. Okay, you really need to get on it. Phenomenal movie. I almost watched Annihilation with Madison, but again, it's we so... watched Hereditary. That was my movie of the month. Great movie. movie You're gonna like Annihilation a lot more the second time you watch it too. It gets better. It, I've seen it three <laughs> times, I think. It twice. Um, okay, next next topic. What are we on? Um, we gotta address. We gotta address the big thing this week. What's ha- what the big pop culture thing? It's Game of Thrones, baby. It is Game of Thrones week, Jake. We're not gonna let this slide without mention bringing it up at the very least. But can we get there in a sec? 
because I got some stuff, and then Game of Thrones will end it. I I, I got I got something to bring up. You said you said the biggest pop culture moment. PSN Ma- name changes. Mary Magdalene, the new Jesus movie <laughs> with Juan Keen Phoenix as Jesus. <laughs> just kidding. We don't need to talk about that. Yeah, PSN name changes. Can we though? Talk about what? What you just the Mary said. Magdalene movie? <laughs> yes, uh, coming out. I this feel like Jake, Jake and I should go see it, and then we'll come uh, back with a review. Mary, I'll so watch which, it. Which is shocking that like Joaquin Phoenix is. That's always cracks me up when big names who have won awards or been nominated or big movies get in these weird. Yeah, uh, Mary Bad Magdalene. Review. Not great reviews, Brian. Rooney Mara, Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, cheat, cheat. Well, Ejiofor, the dude who's in Lion King and was in um, was it? 12 Years a Slave. Slave. Yeah, Oscar like, for 12 Years a Slave, are, I believe. These are huge... Uh, I don't no. know what the director is like I'm religious, Pete. Is Joaquin religious? It doesn't matter. You get I, I don't really it. follow his TED Talk, right? This is the director of Lion, which was also an Oscar-nominated movie. Uh, yeah, let's read the synopsis. Are you ready? Yeah. In the first century, free-spirited Mary Magdalene flees the marriage her family has arranged for her, finding refuge and a sense of purpose in a radical new movement led by the charismatic rabble-rousing preacher named Jesus. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong here. Oh, Perhaps my scripture uh, is Phoenix a little rusty. is Jesus. Wasn't... Mary Magdalene, I feel like that synopsis of her life skipped like her main identity in the Bible. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I was led to believe my whole life, perhaps it was propaganda, that Mary Magdalene was a hooker, yeah. Brian. And you know what? No judgment. That's fine. Jesus didn't judge her in the story. Uh, like, but that pissed everyone else off. Like, hey, how are you going to be all high and mighty, but then you're still hanging out with the hooker on the side? I have something to say, but I can't. Because I think I would be really bad to say with my religious beliefs. So this, I would love nothing more. Oh, actually, I think I I can kind of guess what Jake was gonna say. Just gonna uh, imply he's implying she's a hooker and she's meeting up with Jesus in this movie. You don't know. I have a question. I mean, it's that's always been a fan theory. Is the, that's this, always been a Jesus fan theory out there. Reddit fan fiction. This was, yeah. I've wrote, I've written Jesus fan fiction. Is this like does this play take place during Jesus times? Yeah, she meets. She's literally getting into first the century. Fight. First century. No, because that red, like, oh, like Bible for teens, like rabble rousing. Did she? Did, did it does. It did rabble come off as okay, a young I, adult now. I thought it I, lo- lo- I, no, I it lost is, my mind. For it a is second. definitely taking place then. Okay. Here is Jesus baptizing her in the water in seven nine. Okay. A lot of pictures. Yeah, on her face. that's definitely because I thought this was like the Bible too. My really good idea where Jesus has to like come back and like. Stop. He has to go to high school and stop the Antichrist from being born. Hey, Brian. I heard a, I heard a rumor. What? There's a rumor in the Twitter sphere. What? Jesus is going to come in Endgame. Jesus is going to come back. He's going to get that dub with the Avengers. The heard, newest member of the Avengers. I heard Jesus a, Christ. I heard a third rumor. Oh, yeah? That uh, tomorrow I'm going to go into my uh, PlayStation and change my username to Mary Magdalene 8 <laughs> I heard that rumor as well. That rumor was being discussed. I'll at make the sure this table. goes up after you do that. <laughs> PSN name changes are here. Which Zach, do you understand the significance? Of yes, this? you can finally change your name after all these years. Yes, of writing out but it's the original so fucked name too. Yeah, so let me. I'll give you, I've been Cardinals fan Zach for a long let me, time. Let me explain now. to you why it's fucked. So Xbox, <laughs> when they created the basis of their online system, they said when you get your original like account. Your username that you can't see is like 05x424, a bunch of numbers. Yeah, it's like it's the structure of your online profile. Of all your purchases, you apply a name on top of this structure. PlayStation said, whatever name you write down is the structure (laughs) that goes into the video game. So there are some games now that if you change your name, you completely fuck the video game. (laughs) Like you will lose progress, lose bought currency you paid for in real life. And the best part is. Like, you don't really know about this unless you look at, like, the blog posts. Yeah, and, like, they have, like, no, they have, like, okay, these games totally fucked. Uh, these games, your stats, you're, like, some stuff. There might be an issue, but we know what they but are. But it's just so fat. It, they've been working on it for, like, seven years. Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. They can't like, figure it they out. they knew people wanted it. They're like, well, we can't really fix it, but we'll try our best. So are, you, is- are you telling me that if I wanted to change my name from... Cardinals fan Zach per se to maybe Tigers fan Zach yes. as a college yeah. student. 
I would lose my 1.17 kill death ratio on Black Ops. No, that one's safe. No, Wait, on Black Ops one, one uh, for sure. Oh, well, for no, sure. actually, no. Um, you no, know, you you physically couldn't do it. No, gun it game champion. Work, many times it time. doesn't work on PlayStation. Many Play- time a gun game champion. It doesn't work on PlayStation three. So you'd be safe because PlayStation three and Vita are not affected. Your name just stays the same thing. Yeah. It would, yeah, it would stay the same. So your name change wouldn't work. But are you really truly that good at Black Ops, Ryan? <laughs> okay, his KD. Let me put it. Let me put it this KD way. KD was one point one seven. He's not that good. I'm not good. My KD is trash. Mine would be like 0.5, But I have friends who are like KD's two. My brother for the, for the amount I played, which wasn't a lot. I was oh, pretty proud of that. That's all pretty points. impressive. Then never. Mind. I don't fuck with video games. I'm Zach. I just I'm above you guys, and you guys are losers, <laughs> and I'm the best. Ever. You, you would kill me, and I, I suck it. I don't know much about video games. All I do is buy them. I have <laughs> not. <laughs> guys, Honestly, Ryan is referring to, to my problem of buying video games and game systems and then not playing them, which I do you have, have a, a problem. Switch in your room, and you're like, I don't know. Let me know when Last of Us Two comes out. Like, bro, when Last of Us Two comes out, I'm a year prepared to now. do a year of episode. talking about that. Yeah. That'll awake the hibernation of the It'll video be like game, true Zach. false. It'll be like the true only false video game that period. Zach has beat this year, I'm speaking in the third person now, um, <laughs> is I beat Uncharted 4, and that was a long time coming because I played the first two. I got to play the fourth one right, and that one was awesome. So, yeah. Um, but I got a few on my list. I'll get. I'm, my goal is to beat Spider Man over the summer. It's a good game. Did you change your name, Jake? No, I'm not. Do you plan to? No. What is it? It's Hawkman 08 right now. Okay. Uh, we made it when we we got the PS3 in 08. We, so we made you know, me, and my, like bro- you, me and my brother. brother. Yeah, yeah, we shared it. So I'm not. We're not going to change it because most likely one of us will take the name. I'll probably let him take it, and then I'll just make a new one when I buy my own and we're on yeah. our separate ways. So like my, who's ready for some Brian Woods lore? Sure. Some so, lore. Yeah. I've been some waiting. Lore. I'm ready for some Brian Woods so world. You guys, building. you guys may know me by Brian of the Woods on most things. Yes. Yeah. Brian, that's how I refer to you in person. <laughs> but uh, there was a time where I had a different universal name, uh, and it all started with Club Penguin, where Frosty was not accepted. So I went Frosty five four three two one nine, and thus I named myself that on everything, Twitter. All kinds of stuff. And then I got my PlayStation 3. And I said, my thing's kind of Brian of the Woods now. And I could change it on Xbox. But let's keep it uniform. I can probably change this later. Couldn't change it later. Nope. But today was the day. When I said, oh, I'm going to be late. Just got to get some stuff. The first thing I did before I got the stuff was log on and change my name. This is huge for me, Zach. My brand is saved. My identity restored. You changed your name? Yeah, on um, PSN. Brian of the Woods. Oh, I feel so good. To Let see me it. know if any game screws you over. Um, I don't think it will. I think it's... I might lose some stats in Absolver, but I play that mostly on PC. But that's it. Um, Titanfall, I think the settings reset. But I'm good, man. Like this is a long time coming, and I, it's here, dude. It's your one free name change, dude. Like if you had a name that they deemed like inappropriate later, like if your name was like ball toucher like that the algorithm wouldn't catch it but like someone could report you and they'd the be BA like a one one toucher or something like no that. if it was just ball toucher they could say oh that's inappropriate later and they'd be like well we have no way to change your name so we're just gonna shut down your profile and give you a bunch of psn credit so you can just buy all the games and it, they it, like it was so fucking weird like they just couldn't fix it but we're here folks another quick aside um before we get to game of thrones which is really the only thing that matters this week. I'm not even going to front and say that anything I have to say matters. But I spent the last three days consuming... I don't know why I did this. I re- Consuming all available uh, content of Black Clover. I don't know. It, it's an anime. Uh, My anime knowledge is at zero. Yeah, it's 200 chapters. Um, I saw the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie when I was five, so I'm at 1%. I'm not going to say this one well, was I guess good. I, what's that... Uh, what's the thing that spawned, like... The animation now. What's right. the big Naruto? It, no, he the oh, it's, okay. Oh, Ghibli. Spirited Away. Spirited Away. That's yeah. the one I've seen. Uh, but basically, I just spent like three days straight reading this and watching this. I'm not gonna say it's really good. It doesn't do anything bad. Uh, it lifts um, just literally like just like beat for beat some of the worst plot points from Naruto, and that took me <laughs> back in a really strong way. But you know, uh, I don't think I'm gonna finish it. I don't blame you. I've had like, to come. I, I'm done. I've like, had to reach a conclusion, like with life just getting busier. If yeah. I don't like something after like two or three episodes, I just stop. Like it's not, it's not worth my I time. I mean, I read a, I read 200 chapters, 
And in the end, I was <laughs> That's like, a commitment. Never mind. You dude, I was reading it off like the official app because I pay for a subscription just like give them money. I don't want to like look at it illegally. And they're like, listen, Chief, you're paying for this, but you read over 100 chapters today. Fuck off for a little bit. Like they wouldn't let me read more. <laughs> Off for a little bit. <laughs> That's like when Netflix asks, uh, you, you should, should take a break. It. Instead, yeah. they said, take a break. You're, you're done. You're taking up our bandwidth, boy. So That's funny. That's, wow. Uh, okay, one final thing about it. Every single opening, anime opening's a big deal. Every single opening, good. This is unheard of with other anime of this type. Every single like theme song they have, oh, okay. like, they're all really good. And they get they get a new one every ten episodes, which is also like unheard of. That is that's not any that's all TV shows that's unheard of. Yeah. Hey guys, Brian here from the future. Looking back on this, uh, the upcoming segment is impenetrable and full of spoilers for Game of Thrones. So if you're not a big fan or spoilers are an issue for you, uh, skip to the hour twelve minute mark, and we're done with the spoilers and impenetrable stuff. Okay, folks, that's the Black Clover Minute. Get on to Game of Thrones, some real nerd shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, here Are we, we go. Doing spoilers? Yep. I think this really, is going to be we, spoiler dude, city. Seriously, if you don't, I would just, like, quit the episode or jump to whatever This is, uh, it's episode. about I'm to be... Of, I'm thinking of trying to catch up. If you haven't minutes. watched Game of Thrones <laughs> dude, yet... Dude, I'm genuinely serious. Do you know what the spoilers are? I don't even know what Game of Thrones okay. is. Do you care? <laughs> he will not okay. remember. I don't. I know. He will not remember I, if he doesn't even know what characters we're talking about. No, he can't put it. I don't know. I don't. I don't mean to be flippant about this. Game of Thrones is probably fine. I just don't have it in me. Oh, it's a lot. The, the reason I watch so much Black Clover is because it doesn't fucking matter and it's dumb. You know what yeah, I mean? For you to I do can't it, engage you have like 85 this, you know? hours of TV. Yeah, it's no, it's not just the time commitment, it's the thought commitment. Oh, you know what I mean? there is so much like, thought like, commitment. Like, I Zach, so much of my thoughts. Like, I, I walked in on Zach watching it for like the fifth fucking time and like his phone's off. I'm like, oh, you're like paying attention on your fifth fucking watch through. Like, yeah, you do. I it, might notice it something is a, new. <laughs> it is a show you have to pay attention to. Though I don't know about the fans. Yeah, so if you haven't <laughs> caught up to Game of Thrones yet, you might want to fuck off for a bit. Um, yeah, fuck off. End of the, fuck off to the Go run right to the market and get some eggs. Go no. give your dog a bath and then come back later. Don't come back. This is We're ending it with this. Okay, we're going to ride out into the sunset. <laughs> we're not going to do a recommendation. Thing. Oh, shit, we are doing a rec- Stay a while. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, skip, skip to two minutes left in the show if you want. But so here yeah, we go. Game of running. Thrones. Season 8 starts this Sunday. Um... Jake, I don't want to get dramatic here, but I have never been more committed to any any media. Whether I'm looking forward to an album by an artist more, never. Whether I'm looking forward to a movie more, now see that's a hard one. I've looked forward to a lot of movies. Dark Knight Rises was a big one I was looking forward to. Um, Infinity War I was looking forward to a lot. This what so about Endgame? Game? Yeah, Endgame or Game? Oh, of we're Thrones. gonna touch that at the end. We're gonna touch that at the end. We're gonna touch the shit out of that. Uh, but um, that's what I love. I love when people say that. To me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, don't, don't you worry, little Jake. Well, we're gonna... Oh God. Not 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 a good nickname to throw after that conversation. <laughs> we'll move on to Endgame in due time. Um, yeah, we will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we will. I don't like that either. Um, Okay, so season eight of Game of Thrones is the most I've ever looked forward to anything, ever. Now you can you can you can keep your judgments to yourself this whether that's re- like whether that reflects poorly upon my life if I've never looked forward to something more. But this is uh, is, is this the second half of season eight or like no, it's all of season eight. No, yeah, okay. Game of Thrones doesn't do like the halves. Didn't thing. they last season? Last season was just a short season, but it's still okay. just one season. Okay, I'm confused now. Uh, that so, was Breaking Bad. Yeah, everything does it now. I just thought Game of Thrones did it. Yeah, Walking Dead does it. And yeah. yeah. Okay, so season seven of Game of Thrones was seven episodes uh, as opposed to the regular ten, ten episodes of the six previous seasons. Um, season eight will only be six. But some of the run times are pushing I can tell 20. you the exact run times. It's, I'm, not, I'm in a round, but it's 60, 60, a little over 80, a little over 70, 80, 80. That's, yes. that's them in order. It's going to be Numbers, thick with man. five C's, Brian. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm excited. I'm amped. Uh, it's almost as thick as Sophie. Oh. <laughs> and we regressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she only has a face, so I don't even know if that She means. has a body. Oh, she has a body. She has a body. I think she only has a face. Back to, uh, away Game from sci-fi, back to... Uh, Thrones. It's magical realism. Um, I just finished catching up. I've been two months. 
I'd only watched season one, so I watched two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It has been a lot better, honestly, than I thought it was going to be. Because I enjoyed season one, but not to the extent of people hype this show up. And I'll be honest, the show up until season seven was not something that I would predict this many people were into. Because it's not a fast-paced show, necessarily. No. Seasons, up until season seven, there aren't that many big battles. It's mostly political drama and character development. World-building, Brian. Very, a lot of world-building. World building. Very, like, if someone is journeying from one land to another, that's their character arc for the season. Up until season seven. They throw that all out the window. throws that out the window and says, if we need to get you here, you're getting there in ten minutes. And we are, like... For like, a lot of time jumps. There'll be a plot point that could happen. Example, this uh, penultimate episode uh, in season seven, uh, episode six. Beyond the Wall. Beyond the Wall. They journey from the wall out into the north, the extra north. You know how far that is, Brian. It's really far. I saw, I was watching, I was my friend watched it at my house one time with a party, and I saw dragons. Oh, it's a really, season okay. premiere. really long distance in the snow. And then I saw Ed Sheeran. Oh yeah, <laughs> we don't need to. We don't yeah. need to touch that one. What what could have what would have been in a normal season a four episode arc was in one episode. I get why they did it because I I think it will benefit the show that it's never going to get bad. Like it was good to end it when they did, and they had to start getting things go, going. But this show easily could have been ten seasons. Every episode, every season could have been ten episodes long, and it wouldn't have faltered. It sounds like they could have done it if they just decided they needed to wrap it up sooner. Like, if they had, like, okay, like, we'll lay these seeds earlier, you see, know what I mean? See, now here's the thing, though, because while season seven does have a lot of positives that early seasons, like, one and two don't have, like, big action set pieces, a lot Holy, of production value. The, the budget must have been upped. Everyone is more attractive. Fold. Everyone just looks more attractive <laughs> now. True. Jon Snow is, like, he, they make him look the most handsome person yeah. ever, and then Daenerys oh is... Oh, my, so much sexual tension. The only... Oh, the tension, Brian. The tension. Oh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't get why Cersei's hair hasn't grown back yet, but that's really oh, the my, only... Make it grow back. Please. I can't look at her anymore. Cersei's I already hate her so look. much, and I have to see it, and I'm like, God. I want, her to bring, I want them to bring the short hair back. That would have been cool. Uh, or the long hair back, my bad. Um, but, so, you kind of miss out in Season 7 with how fast-paced it is. And that has benefits. Like Jake was saying, we're in the end game now, you know. It's, it's uh it it's, builds the hype and the action is phenomenal. You just lose a little bit of character though. Right, right. And it's the little moments that makes the earlier seasons mm-hmm. like like so cool upon rewatch is like, wow, I never like I I can appreciate this scene now. Um whereas you don't not a lot of time for yeah, little moments. Arya so. Arya and Sansa have this weird development, episode five and six. It feels like the, something that should have been stretched out a the, little longer. It, it is seems the rushed. only part, it is the only time in the show I have seen a character interaction or like big emotional beat, and I've been like, oh, stop, stop, stop. This doesn't work. This is bad. Like it was the first time I saw this happen. It's like, I don't know what you're thinking. Then they basically retcon it in the next episode. I'm like, okay. It's very retcon. They, they, they just literally like I complained to I complained to a friend. The day before I watched the season finale, I watched the season finale, came to him the next day and said, yeah, I take back everything I just said. It completely fixed my issues. But you could tell, like, that would have worked a lot better in a longer season. Now, now Jake, I might just have to talk to you about this later. I didn't like the way they dispatched of Littlefinger. Uh, in that way, it felt anticlimactic in the season seven finale. But he's also, I'll be honest, one of the weaker actors on the show. When he has to well, show emotion his, in that scene. His performance doesn't changed. Change. It, no, it, it changed from... Se- and, Everything before the first three seasons, he kind of talks normal, the normal voice. Oh, and then, and then, and then, and then you see him on a pirate my ship, name is and he becomes finger. Pirate Finger instead my of name, Little Finger. My name is Little Finger, and I talk to you like this. He kind of has more of a uh, underlying yeah. sinister it nature sounds, now. It sounds like he's always whispering, and it's really dumb. I feel like Brian knows this character I, now I've without having ever him. met him. If you like this ASMR guy. <laughs> I'd pre- subscribe to MUTV. So I'd prefer if you guys looked at each other when you did the weird voices. Oh, stuff. we were both looking at Brian while <laughs> talking there, guys. Um, yeah. I gotta say, so, end of, uh, what is it called? Episode 6. Beyond the Wall. Beyond the Wall. The end of that, with the with the dragon, the first draw, draw, I can't speak, jaw to the floor moment of all Game of Thrones for me, where not, like, there were other ones that shocked me, but this one literally, I, like, my mouth was a gate for 20 seconds. 
when they had the chains, I was like, oh, what are they doing? And I, I was like, oh, no, no, they are not doing this. And then they did, and I was shocked. Brian, to fill you in here, and the rest of the viewers who don't care about spoilers that don't know yet, uh, <laughs> the Night King, the, the big baddie of the show, yeah. threw a... He's the CGI actually, ice he's, guy, right? Actually, he's yes. just regular ice guy with makeup and prosthetics. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah no, okay. he's not CGI. Um, okay. He's got an ice spear, uh, you know, because why wouldn't he? Uh, fucking cool. Without even like running forward, just kind of from like one stance, chucks a spear like a hundred yards, gets a dragon in the That's throat. Three hundred uh, feet. To put this yeah. also perspective for you, Brian, the dragons are the most unstoppable thing, and like they are not to be killed, and they fucking just destroy everything. I've been and to this about point, for years, to honestly. this point, everyone's been thinking like, I don't know how Daenerys can lose. She's got three dragons. They enter the ice dragon. <laughs> This guy, this is White Walker, first time he sees a dragon, he's not scared. He's like, oh, okay. Let's kill this bitch. He goes, Give me, bring me my long spear. And some guy gave him a spear, and he throws it, kills the dragon. Every main character stops their respective fights, like with whatever zombies they were fighting, and just watches this dragon scream. It's hard to watch. And go into the water and die. And like and you think everyone it's else over. is just staring. You at think it. drown dragon. End of the episode, the Ice King, they're able to bring back the dead, touches it, dragon comes back to life, fucking ice dragon. Now it's Insane. the dragon for the bad guys. So I think here's now when we need to get into season eight. Because let's get people, let's get into semi predictions. Because I want time. Oh boy! Right season eight prediction we're show, we're doing it right now. No. We're at 51 minutes. Have we Just ever a short, oh, we, got, no, we can go. You oh, can we go. went to hour 20 last time on our Citizen Kane episode. <laughs> here's here's so here's the things I talked about is I'm interested to see, I'm not necessarily doing predictions, but just conversation about it is how are they going to balance because you have two big things that need to happen. We need to defeat the Night King and the Army of the Dead. And then we also need to figure out who's on the throne. Here it is. Here you it is. Eight epi- you have six episodes to figure this out. And we know episode three has the biggest battle in Game of Thrones history. My oh, pre- not just Game of Thrones history. It's literally, Brian, is it, it is literally not only TV history, movie history. That's this is the project. biggest filmed battle. Like longest battle. Longest consecutive battle sequence now, okay, ever filmed. So here's my prediction. Episode three, which is... Kind of disappointing because we've been building to it for so long, and I'm sure we'll get three episodes of it. I bet episode three is the culmination of the battle against the Ice King. Right, and that's a surprise because you kind of figure the whole time, like, okay, he's going to be the final bad guy in the show. There's going to be three episodes left after that. and that Maybe be... he, maybe the Night King does make it through that, and there, he's still and he the bad wins? guy after the battle. Well, you still have three episodes I know. left. After, I doubt he wins in episode three. But here's... Right now, Cersei, who is the main human villain right now, Severely outnumbered by pretty much every everyone else is against her except her, and uh, and, and you, uh, she's got some self swords, yeah, but not really bank, enough to like money. overcome people, but to help. Um, I think if you really want the show to retain its drama, this this battle against the White Walkers is gonna probably be won for the good guys, but it's gonna deplete them so much yeah. that Cersei will have the clear upper hand. The thing that sucks about that is. Yes, that, the thing that sucks is that's the most realistic thing. And I, I would assume that is what's going to happen because I can't... I mean, one, that's what it's set up to. Cersei's not helping them. It leaves Daenerys and Jon to fight the North or to fight the Night King. So it's most likely what's going to happen. But I would love for them to somehow subvert expectations and either have them lose, completely lose, or have the Night King kill... So, like, okay, here's the other big thing is there are big... Obviously, deaths are going to happen. And there are big character beats that are going to be, I assume, associate with those. So my get here are my guess. I think Arya will get the kill on Cersei. That's my prediction. I think she will get it. Do you know what's going to piss me off? If Arya gets there and they do the whole, this is her big character change. She doesn't want to murder people anymore. That's gonna oh, fuck that me. won't happen. I don't know. They're not. These these guys don't write for for a ABC Freeform, Jake. I, <laughs> This is in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. It is. It is the last season, so I have faith. But season seven, seven definitely did pull back punches in terms of deaths. Like there were big battles that happened, and no one died at those. Which big spectacle, so I'll take it. But it definitely pulled back the punch because every other season is big battle. This means something. Something big will happen. All right. And so that's why I'm worried. For some reason, they're going to want. Like, I get it. Everyone wants the heroes to win. 
My prediction is John or Daenerys dies. One of them has to go. You want to hear my season, my vague season predictions here? Yeah. Let's All go. All right. So six episodes, right? We pretty much know the battle is season three, the battle against the White Walkers. Mm-hmm. All right. When we leave season seven, uh, the wall has been knocked down. The army of the dead are passing crazy. through. Um, and Theon Greyjoy is taking his force to try and save his sister, who has been held captive by his uncle Euron Greyjoy. That's episode one. They're getting, we're done with I that. I believe episode one or two will resolve the Greyjoy storyline. One. Episode one. They, I, they need to get that out of the way. I think that's going to be an episode two thing. That's what I honestly believe. Um, so I believe that Theon will find a way to free Yara, his sister, from Euron, while also being killed by his uncle Euron. And then... That's... I'm fine with that. That is likely what will happen. Whether or not Yara kills Euron that episode or later in the season, I don't know. But I think Theon dies early. That's this a season. valid... That's a valid... valid. In his final redemptive arc. It's been a fucking five season redemption for this guy. He's been... Really Honestly, I wish, I wish you had died a while ago. I don't like... It's it's an arc I'm sick of. It, it, it's been drawn out, Brian. Um, so that's that's one aspect of the story. Um, I believe a lot of the tension early on in the first three season or first three episodes will be about Daenerys and Jon both figuring out that not only have they been having sex when they are aunt and aunt and nephew, they did not know Which that at the, the time. Age is very confusing. By the They're, way, well, Daenerys' older brother, who John is John's dad, was very was like yeah. middle aged, not middle aged, uh... but in his thirties. We're getting pretty deep into the mythos here, Brian. You're just going to have to hang on and hold on. It's not enough for a sec. It's fine. All right. <laughs> That's okay. You can tap out. All right. I'll try and I'll speed this up. But I pretty much kind of have this all worked out in my head of what's going to happen. Um, so that's going to be their big thing because Daenerys, her whole life, has believed she is the heir. And it is her right to the throne because her whole claim to the throne rests on her family name. When she finds out that Jon Snow is actually the male heir to her older brother who was in line to be king... He deserves the throne. Her claim won't be valid anymore. His claim will be valid. So she can't really argue for her claim because, oh, I, I should be queen because I'm a Targaryen and I'm the last Targaryen. That won't be true anymore. So she'll have no choice but to reluctantly uh, follow Jon. Or, kill or maybe Jon will agree not to tell anyone. That, that about his Targaryen ancestry. That's my prediction. Is if they lean, if you can tell they're leaning heavily into the love, the love aspect, the first second episode, they will find out and just keep it to themselves. Or maybe she kills him. John would not be the one to be like, "It's my right, it's my throne. I'm going to take it from you." Yeah. That doesn't seem like his. He doesn't even seem like he likes. That would be that a much. really weird character beat that I don't. Like. I believe. I believe that she will support his claim to the throne, or he will. Uh, not ignore know. his own claim to the throne. Either way, that's only the first couple episodes. I believe that point won't won't mean anything after the third or fourth. I agree. I with believe that. they win the battle. The winter win battle at Winterfell. Daenerys and Jon both survive that battle. Their force is depleted, though. Like I think characters like Brienne, Grey Worm, they're gone after Battle of Winterfell. I believe they die. Um, a lot of smaller side characters that are big enough to actually mean something though when they die. Brian, um, I believe episode four. Or maybe five. Cersei uh, triggers her uh, betrayal mm-hmm. and causes Daenerys' death. Jon Snow, Daenerys, Jon Snow, who is, loves Daenerys, probably doesn't care too much about Cersei being on the Iron Throne at this point. Besides trying to support, uh, like his lover's claim to it, which is Daenerys mm-hmm. or whatever. So with Daenerys gone, you'd think, okay, I'm, I don't really care. But if Cersei's the one that kills Daenerys, that you're going to see the main character pissed off pretty hard. And I think the last episode is Jon with what remains of his forces trying to take King's Landing from Cersei. The last episode will be King's Landing because we haven't gotten like a, a true battle at King's Landing. And you want to hear it? Jon John reluctantly takes his role as King of the Seven Kingdoms puts Sansa in charge of the North, makes her Lady of the North. Uh, I believe Arya uh, just kind of leaves her home because she's Commander. more of an adventure person anyway. Lord Commander. Arya will not want to be Lord Commander. She doesn't want to be in one spot the rest of her life. Uh, so I believe 
I Arya, Arya, I believe Arya lives. lives. Uh, if I had to pick a Stark that's most likely to die, which would be like John, Sansa, Bran, or Arya, I'd say Arya's the most likely to die. Okay, I got it. Having a little answer here. Fuck Bran. Bran's acting Fuck in season seven is, is or his direction bad. at least the direction of his character. I'm gonna assume they told him to act like that and blame the writer, yes, not him. But also, uh, I just his now here's the is, is a good thing. I I heard that. That's been like his transition into being the three eyed raven, and he's gonna be more human like in season eight. I, he acted like a robot in season seven to anyone who's confused. Yes, and he, the three eyed raven plot, I'm really worried he is going to save the day in some way, shape, or form. And that and is, he is just not is, cool enough yes, to do that. That's not who Bran is. He's never been a big enough character. I don't know what his purpose is. His character has already. Towards. I feel like if his sole purpose was figuring out that John is a Targaryen. That's really it. I mean, I mean it's good. I mean it's I guess it makes it all worth it because that's big. That that's is a, big. The main character, that, his whole identity has changed. Having having the right to the throne is a big deal. Right. In this show. And that's a big enough plot point that I'm fine. That's all he does. Alright. Yeah. So here we go. Uh because this is what everyone wants to know with Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a show about character deaths. Before we wrap up this conversation, Jake, who do I who's, think dies? Who's dying? Who's dying? Who's dying? Um Okay, so here I'm giving character beats with it, because I think it's important. Yeah. I think either so here, okay, I think I think Arya will kill Cersei. I think they will give the audience what they want. I think that Tormund will die. I don't think he's dead at the end of season seven. I think Tormund will die. He's not. I think Brienne. He was on the trailer. He's uh, not. T- well, Bronn will die. Um, Bronn Ooh, will. That's Bron- a big one. Bronn. That's a fan favorite. Bronn will die in uh, either to save, um, probably to save Tyrion. That's my guess. Um, I think. Um, uh, it's there's so many names. So I think Jamie will um, sacrifice himself for Brienne. I I think that will complete his character arc of redemption. Um, I think Brienne will then die to protect one of the Starks, um, probably Sansa. Um, so both of them will be dead. So right now we have I think Jamie will be dead because uh, I think that'll really piss Cersei off. Um, I think. So we have Jamie dead, we have Brienne dead, we have Bronn dead, we have Tormund dead. What Starks die? Do any Starks die? Is Ned if anyone still if, alive? If, <laughs> if any, <laughs> honestly, the more Mr. I th- died in season one. <laughs> if we have if we have any Stark die, it will be John. The other two won't die. Because you gotta think about it. I love how we still say John San- Stark. Sansa's anyways, Sansa's Targaryen. not Sansa is not a fan favorite. She won't be in the battle, and if you kill her there's really I can't think of any emotional beat that will matter besides Arya being upset, and I don't think John. I, I feel like be, they'd all be. But we haven't I mean, even we haven't seen them together in. We saw them together. They're the one only scene. ones we've really seen together besides yeah, but Sansa like and Arya. One or two him. scenes, and they were kind of upset with each other. So I don't think Sansa will die. I don't think Arya will die. John, I think, is the only Stark that would die. I think John or Daenerys will die. I don't know which one. I'll be honest. And then I think Cersei dies. Um, name other. Mi- Side care. I think Pod will die. Uh, hey guys, you know, like hold on a sec. Yeah. So I've been thinking about this while you guys are talking about your Death. stuff. For the entire time I've been contemplating this one. What if I just cut this shit out of the show and we do a Game of Thrones thing and we upload it on the same day, and then you guys can keep going for like another twenty minutes? Because as of now, I don't think it's. I don't think we can just have Zach's predictions like be in the show for twenty minutes. I'm not saying like. It's deleted. What time are we at? We're at like an hour, but if we cut this off in like a second, I'm not saying like we push it off somewhere. I'm saying like so we have like a but, shorter but version I mean, of the show, which was like the first forty minutes. No, and then we also. I mean, he just did his predictions. Oh, well, I'm gonna do my character. So I'm gonna do my does, official if, character. If he says his character death, and then we stop. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much what I said. Like to wrap up here, that's pretty much what I was. Is are you sure you this guys is going to be the last thing. Do you guys not have anything else you want to say about this? I mean, no. something I mean, something that you would actually be able to comment on that I felt felt like bringing up is they pretty much announced that they're going to do a soundtrack album. Like Black Panther had a soundtrack album, oh an God, album called really? For the Yeah, I don't, I don't think with like I have much more to say. 20 different people on it. Okay. We could bring that up for like 30 seconds and laugh about it and then call it a... Okay. And, Game I, of, and Oreo released Game of Thrones cookies. I mean, we're still recording right now. I mean, well, I'm assuming this is... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about I don't know. If here's the thing. What did you interrupt Jake in the middle of? Because So Jake can continue and we can edit it. Oh, I was saying... Uh, I was talking about character deaths, and I was asking... Oh, yeah. Okay. I said I would name the smaller characters. Um. Okay. Grey Worm, Masande. Yes. yes. No. Okay. Well, Grey Worm will die for Masande. All right. So say, say alive, dead. 
instead of okay. yes, no, because we don't really. Okay. Um, Asande. Uh, alive. Grey Worm. Dead. Sam. Dead. Will sacrifice his life for John. Samuel Tarley. Yes, will sacrifice his life for someone. He he's this whole arc has been. He always he hasn't felt like he's wanted to do something. He finally does something. He becomes a hero. He dies. Oh, he's a he killed a White Walker. He's protected Gilly. He, he will die. All right, Gilly. No. Baby Sam. No. Gendry. Yeah, Ooh, definitely. The last Baratheon heir yeah, we're done is him. wiped off the planet, according yeah. to Jake. Yeah. Wow. There's no show after this. We're done. Melisandre. Oh, fuck. I messed up. Who's in the beginning, then? I said Masande. Who's Melis? Oh, the red. Red woman okay. is Melisandre. Um, oh. Sweet. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Wait, okay. Well, uh, Grey Worm's girlfriend will be alive. Yeah, that's Red what Woman said. Said that. will die. Yeah. Probably just a full of fucking age. Right. Probably just take her thing off. Liana Mormont. Dead? The yeah. nine year old the nine year old girl. Oh, alive. They're not gonna kill her. Alright. Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't we've know. said that they about might, every character. They might before. kill her. <laughs> we've said might, that about they so might many kill people. Her. <laughs> they might kill her. Uh the Night King. Dead. Alright. Uh or Ghost, the dire wolf. I uh, I don't care. Wow. Alive. Wow. Sounds like it's a dog and you sound it like a It sounds like you just don't care. <laughs> okay, alive. It's not gonna die. I feel like I The care other two the dragons, dog. Drogon and Regal. Uh both alive. Eh, no. One dies. Fuck, but then we I don't know how we get other ones. I think we need to keep uh, we're not doing a sequel. Yeah. Right. One of them dies. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up for Jake's character. Death okay. predictions. Okay. Um, okay, let's hear yours. Alright, here we go. Can I read uh, them off to you? And you just say Yeah, go did? go ahead. Okay, um, Arya. I believe she'll live. Bran. Yeah, he'll live. Um, asshole. Yeah, fuck Bran. Sansa. She'll live. John. He'll live. Daenerys. I think she's. I think she's gonna go. Someone's gonna get her, and it's gonna piss John off. Cersei. Well, she's gone. Jaime. Uh, he's gone. But here's the here's where here's where Jake and I differ. I think Arya killing Cersei. I'd almost be disappointed because Arya has not seen Cersei. Since season one, and even in that season, they had one scene together. That that murder wouldn't really mean anything to me. I want to see I want to see Jamie come full circle and just completely change his mind about the person he used to be in love with, and him they both go down together, and he brings it all down with her. I want them to die. So they would die together. Together, but he's not going full circle then. Okay, well he's, I think I think he's killing not... her. He oh. causes it. He kills her, but and then he, he kills does, himself. But he's done anyway after. Yeah. Okay. Something. They're gonna have to build that arc hard. He's gonna have to, like, they're gonna have to. Have, they're burning I, I, together. I, I believe they they I, are in a burnt support, down throne room. I support him killing her, but they're gonna have to make that really work because right now I still don't believe that he would kill her. Because I still don't believe. Okay, you say Tyrion. I I think Tyrion's probably but my I don't, second safest. I don't to even live. see. I it's gonna be hard to convince me that Jamie would kill. It was it's Jamie, gonna have, for Jamie to kill Cersei. It's gonna be have to protect Brienne. That's honestly the only thing I can predict. Because I don't know why he right. would otherwise. Yeah, okay, you're on. Dead. Theon. Killed by Yara, probably. Theon, dead. Killed Yara. by Yara. Yara, alive. Oh, Jorah, I agree, also dead. Jorah is going to finally give his life for Daenerys. He's been in the friend zone for about nine years now, Brian. Brienne. Uh, Brienne, I believe, here's where I mean you differ. You think Jamie gives his life for Brienne? I believe Brienne gives his life for Jamie. Those, the yes. By, the e- either one, I am fine with. Um, pronounced uh, Brian. Uh, Davos. <laughs> Davos, <laughs> Davos lives. He's I too love cool. him so much. Davos um, will. Davos I don't know will. at this point who we would sacrifice. God, that'd be for. such a sad one. Uh, Barrick, Barrick's gonna die. Ooh, you think Tormund's gonna live? I believe Tormund makes it out. Ooh, the Hound. I forgot about him. I bet the Hound sacrificed himself for someone. I believe the Hound might complete his Hound, arc. Hound is definitely gonna kill his brother, but I don't know if he'll go down in that okay, fight well, too. We just but Hound there. will die. Um, Bronn. Uh, Bron, I feel like Bron might go. Bron will be a sad one to, to die, but he he might he might bite the dust. Lord Varys, he's dead. Oh, that's he's for sad. sure gone. Uh, Podrick, I think he'll make it. Missande, she'll make it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna can I just read all the ones you said alive? <laughs> Samwell. <laughs> yeah, Sam. See, here's why I think Sam's alive. I think he's he's the guy that's gonna write this entire history down after. He's like okay. the scribe of the show. That's like, a, but yeah. I feel like I Game of Thrones that. will give some type of fifty like years into thing. the future, like Lord yeah. of the Rings three, and like I could see that. Yeah, see Sam well as like an right old there. guy okay. writing about it. Gilly, and stuff. she'll live. Baby Sam, I think she, Gendry yeah, will live. Gendry will live. I think him and Arya ride off together in a boat. Interesting. Dario, 
I believe he'll live. If, um, if he's even mentioned at all, right? We have Dario was not in season seven. He's still on the other continent. But if he, he'll oh, live. that's oh, I doubt we even see him. I hope we do. He's so he, great. He, I don't know when filming occurred for this and when filming occurred for Haunting of Hill House. Um, Mira, yeah, she'll make it. Probably. Um, Melisandre, she's gone. Uh, Liana, yeah, she'll live. Q Kyburn, Kyburn, yeah, uh, that's Cersei's yeah. hand of the king. Um, it's actually kind of cool. Night honestly. King. I believe Ky- Kyburn dies. Uh, Night King, yeah, John's gonna kill him. Dolores, Dolores Ed, uh, he's like the Night's Watch commander yeah. right now. Uh, oh, I disagree with you. That I think he's gonna die. Uh, yeah, I th- he might live. I don't know. Um, he might die. Ghost. I don't know. Ghost, uh, I think he bites the dust. It's gonna be a sad one. Drogon, Drogon probably gonna bite the dust as well. Rhaegal, Rhaegal, yes, Rhaegal. the other dragon. I believe that's gonna be John's dragon because it's named after Rhaegar, John's father. Just found out he's a Targaryen. He's gonna ride that fucking dragon, that's Brian. Vis- oh, Viserion. <laughs> Viserion, who's the zombie dragon, I believe. He, I mean, he's not gonna be alive at the end. He's gonna be like dead, um, dead. Not Robin. If he is mentioned, he'll he'll probably Ed live. Edmure. I believe Edmure will also live, but I doubt either uh, of them get mentioned. Jackin and he won't get yeah, mentioned. Yeah, Jack and Hagar won't get mentioned either. But um, um, yeah, that's uh that just about does it for the character predictions. Do you guys ever wonder what like settings like this look like three hundred years in the future? My brother asked me that question. Like, do you think if we looked at Westeros like three thousand years after the show, they'll have cell phones? And like, I was like, I mean, I guess all civil. I mean, we came from a medieval time. I don't know what we're yeah, prevent them from. Magic and it's shit. an interesting question, but also kind of an irrelevant one. It would be interesting. I, I, I've to always see. wanted to see a setting. Like, like it's that. also kind of like asking, like, what does what do we look like three thousand years ago? What we look like now? Like, I would expect that they would evolve the same way we do. But they got magic. And they, they got and shit. they got loose magic, and the dragons might all be dead. The, I, the dragons, I think, the dragons wouldn't just change about, that much. They're I mean, about it's to like go it's extinct. like an animal existing now, except you can fly with it. There's Don't, two of what them. about the the magic zombies? The nine, yeah, I guess that's also true. Like, what do they just continue to like? Does it um, isn't a cyclical thing? Right now, they it's not right like now. A, it's not like a sickness. It's like a you, cyclical thing. I mean, like, doesn't it like? No, it, it happens because of the Night King, and they the bring Night King it back. But if they them. kill all the White Walkers, then there wouldn't be any more. And the theory is, if you kill the Night King, all the other ones will drop because the Night King turned everyone else. Yeah, okay. so it's that's not a theory. definitely it's gonna happen. Because, because why would they even put that line of dialogue in the damn show if they weren't gonna do that? So yeah, um, that was a really weird plot point to throw in season seven. Pretty much on the nose <laughs> of what they're gonna do. Um, um, that's about it. That's all I have. I'm excited. Oh uh, yeah, two two brief things about it. Uh, excited for For the Throne, the soundtrack album. Uh, is that what it's called? Con- yeah, containing containing the weekend. Travis oh Scott. Oh my god. Um, SZA. SZA, yeah. Kind of decent. Actually got some big names attached. Matt weird. Matthew Bellamy of Muse, the lead singer and guitarist of Muse. I didn't know it was going to be R&B and stuff. Oh, yeah. ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Uh, so it's it's got some names. It's got more than I'm not thinking of. Well, the late little what was the other thing you had to say? You said two things. Oh, and uh, Oreos are releasing Game of Thrones Oreos. I'm definitely going to buy some. I think they look just like regular Oreos, except in a Game of Thrones bag, Brian. I'm definitely gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy some before you're buying, the premiere. You're buying two packs and then I'm gonna keep one, eat the other. Yes, you're exactly right, Brian. I respect that. Uh, I'm gonna yes. get a nice thing of milk and then I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna dip my Oreos in the milk uh, while I watch the best show of all time. You guys more excited for this or Endgame? Oh man, can we even dive into that now? I don't, I might have to we wait don't have to one. debate why. Just say which one you're more excited for. Overall, Game of Thrones season eight because you know what? It's just logically it's six hours. It's a whole season. It's it's not six hours. It's like eight. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'm amped. I am. I would have said Endgame, but honestly, after finishing, I am more excited for Game of Thrones. Mostly because I think it can surprise me more than it. Which I exactly. Will like, I will know like, how Endgame is going to end. Pretty much. I will like. Yeah, I will like whichever one surprises me more. Game of Thrones is. No one has any fucking clue what is about to happen. Yeah. We all we are all at a loss of who's. That's going to be my biggest die. disappointment. Is if it. Doesn't ex- if it doesn't it doesn't need to exceed my expectations like it needs to not do what I think it's gonna do because mm-hmm. that's that's why I think I've enjoyed it so much is I've watched it so quickly I haven't had time to think about what was gonna happen next okay so everything's been unexpected very shocking you know, what's that binge been like just like overwhelming no because I it's basically been like uh, either one like about one per day 
or like some days I was too busy. But then like on the weekends, I usually had like two or three free hours, okay. like when I wasn't hanging out with people or doing homework. So then I would watch. That's when I do like my catch up on the days I didn't watch. Okay. It's actually been quite enjoyable, and I yeah. hate watching one piece of content in a row. So yeah. it's that dynamic of a show. It was fine. You know, Zach, I think you probably forgot about this one, but you're a little bit of a uh, Game of Thrones scientist almost, uh, or researcher, a journalist. Oh you're yeah, let me shit. plug that. Let me plug that. Really <laughs> plug quick. it real When's quick. When's it going out? Uh, Dare it be your recommendation for the week? Oh, I, I was actually. Oh, oh I was boy, gonna, I don't have anything that makes life worth wi- living right now. Uh, so I was just going to say, I recommend Zach's article. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you recommend. You recommend my article, and then I'll just recommend Game of Thrones season eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Recommendation Rhombus. Let's do it for um, real, guys. The Rhombus. Oh, what was it called? Uh, it's rectangle? Top, I don't know. My <laughs> article is the top 30 Yeah, it was episodes. Rectangle. My the article is the top 30 rectangle. episodes of Game of Thrones. And you've been... I've been... It's, I'm excited. I've been chipping away at it. You were getting screenshots before this. Right. I've, before I'm still working this. on it. Uh, it should be out... I, I guess should be out Friday afternoon to Friday evening. Okay. Before the Sunday premiere. All right. What's your recommendation, Brian? Uh, there's Zach's article. There's Take Care of Yourself. Uh, take Care of the Ones You Love. Uh, is that an album or is that advice? Take, life? Just life advice. Uh, don't take be a dick. Take Care of Saba. Great album. Um, Actually, I think when it's we fall game. asleep, where do we go? We're, uh, we're asking the hard questions now. Don't really engage with Black Clover. It's not as good as anything else going on. Um, and... Uh, you know, Jake, what do you recommend? Uh, I have a quick couple of recommendations. Uh, I read a book for the first time since last summer. That's crazy. Um, it's dude. called... I want a Kindle. I'm thinking It's called... That. Don't get it. Just read physical books. Um, it's I called, don't have space. <laughs> people always say that, and I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I can find a place to put a fucking book. It's fine. Um, it's okay, books. The Oracle Year. Um, it's about this dude who had a dream about 100... I think it's 108 predictions that were going to happen in the future. And he's just a normal dude, and he wakes up and has them. And it's what happens after that. It's written by the dude who wrote Death of Wolverine and another comic. So it's kind of cool that it's his first foray into books. Um, I recommend, and I haven't listened to the whole album yet, but the first half I've listened to has been great, uh, Morbid Stuff by Pup. It's an alternative rock punk album. I love it. It's great. It's kind of kind of sad at times, and it's kind of angsty, but I kind of dig it. Um, and then also been uh went back and listened to the drowsy chaperone album it's a musical that takes place it's this dude who's sitting in his living room and he's listening to the vinyl of an old musical called the drowsy chaperone it just gives me good feelings he says at one point if you're feeling blue i just put on this and it when i'm feeling blue i listen to it makes me happy that's it that was cute <laughs> you're cute zach oh man do you well, think you're cute right little now. zach do you think i could uh maybe i'll Thanks, use that Uncle the jake I gotta figure out outro music and intro music. I got you. Do 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 do. Oh, you gotta lay on the track on it, Zach. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. Take care, folks. Be kind out there. This has been the Content Cube. Love ya. Oh, Jake. <laughs>